and welcome back to the Rajasthan series. So in this video, we'll be exploring Udaipur. So we'll be traveling from Jaipur to Udaipur by train and the distance is roughly 400 kilometers and it takes about 8 hours to reach Udaipur. So I booked my tickets from the IRCTC app and I selected the train that left Jaipur at 10.30 pm at night so that next day I could reach early in the morning and it costed me just 283 rupees. But then I guess I reached a little too early because I had booked a bike and unfortunately the place had not yet opened. Luckily I had noticed a person selling dal pakwan on the street. So I decided to go and eat my breakfast from there. So dal pakwan is quite a famous dish in Rajasthan. So you should also definitely try it. It costed me just 40 rupees. I still had an hour left before I got the bike. So I decided to go to another restaurant and spend some time over there. It was quite a fancy restaurant and the prices were also a little bit high. I just bought a cup of tea, costed me around 60 rupees, fair enough. So I'd already booked the bike from On Bikes, the same way how we did in Jaipur and it costed me just 298 rupees per day. So after I collected the bike, I straight away went to the hostel. So here in Udaipur, I'm staying at Go Stops and it costed me 372 rupees per day. But sadly, their check-in time is at 1 pm, which is quite late. But luckily, they have a very nice common area. It is a rooftop and they have common washrooms. So you can freshen up and settle down. And once I had settled down, it was time for me to explore the streets of Udaipur. So I was roaming through all the streets and lanes and just like that I had reached the Udaipur city palace. So the entry ticket will cost you 300 rupees and once you have purchased your ticket and now you can start exploring the Udaipur city palace. And please know this is quite a big place and it is also the number one attraction in Udaipur. So you definitely have to visit this place. It is a must visit. So after exploring the Udaipur city palace for a couple of hours, I was quite tired and very hungry. So I ended up in Ammagane restaurant. So the funny thing is, Rajasthan is mainly a vegetarian state, but one of the famous dishes and they are known throughout the country for this is Lal Mas. So here I am at Khammagane restaurant to try out the Lal Mas. So keeping aside the price tag, this was one beautifully prepared dish. The mutton was very tender and probably one of the best mutton dishes I've had in my life. So it is a little bit spicy and pricey, <laughs> but I highly recommend that you do visit Kammagani restaurant and try out the Lal Mas. So with a full tummy and fingers still having the aroma of the beautiful lunch that I had, <laughs> I set out to visit the Sajjangad Palace. So it is also known as the Monsoon Palace and the entry costed me only 165 rupees. So the Monsoon Palace was built somewhere towards the end of the 18th century so that the king would be able to enjoy the monsoon season and at the same time he could overlook his kingdom. Because from here you get a very beautiful panoramic view of the entire Udaipur city. So next up, we will be going to the Bichola Lake for boating, but before that, let's eat something.
And since Udaipur is famous for their kachoris, I'm here at Lala Kachori to try out their kachoris. And at only 20 rupees, this was a really good kachori. Not the greatest I've had in my life, but yes, you can always give it a try. So here I am making my way through the streets and markets of Udaipur in search of my next place. Oh, just some time back I was at Lala Kachori and now I am in search of another Lala. <laughs> and this one is Lala Mishthan Bandar. So people usually say that if you eat Rabdi from Lala Mishthan Bandar, you will end up in Lala Land. <laughs> okay, nobody said that, I just made it up. <laughs> But yes, let's find out. And here we are at the Lala Mishthan Bandar. And without wasting any time, I got myself a plate of rabdi. And priced at only 40 rupees, this was a piece of heaven. So for all the sweet tooth out there, I would highly recommend that you try the rabdi at Lala Mishthan Bandar. Because I think this was the best rabdi I've had in my life. And one of the best ways that you can end your day in Udaipur is to watch the sunset at Lake Pichola. And there are boating options available. The tickets are from 180 rupees and 360 rupees. And you can choose it based on your comfort and pocket availability. But yes, do plan a little ahead for your boating experience as it might get a little crowded towards the time of sunset. But yes, this is one of the must do things in Udaipur. And so once you're done watching the beautiful sunset at Lake Pichola, the next thing to do is head down to Bagur Ki Haveli. Because at 7 to 8 pm, they have a cultural show called as Darohar. And it's something that you should not miss. Unfortunately, I had some other work, so I could not be a part of it. But you guys should definitely check it out. And that brings us to the end of the Udaipur video. And I will see you guys in the next video of the Rajasthan series. So until then, take care and bye-bye.